Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. This is Darling Crossing. Today you can see we're gonna do a DIY space right in front of our campsite. So you can do this wherever you want on your island. The whole purpose of a DIY space is so that you can customize or build anything that you need to throughout your time playing this game. Um, I put it in front of the campsite because when you bring Amiibos, it's very convenient to have it right in front of the campsite. But you can place the space anywhere you want it. And the whole purpose of the space is to have everything close by, all your materials, your wood and your stones and rock and just anything that you could need to DIY something or customize um, an item you're gonna have right here. So I do like to put the tools there too. Uh, I like to have multiplayers. So when you have that and you have it placed out on the island, um, anybody can grab it. So here you can see I'm just putting down like a base um, light dirt path and I'm going to use a grass, a custom grass pattern over top of it. Kind of make like a reverse pathway. It's a little different than anything I've tried before. I think it looks pretty nice. I, I like this style. So I'm also using some barbed wire fence um, and this is just designed to make nice single rows to put the tools in. You'll see that a little later on as we get going through this. So here I'm just going to start placing some of the items and um, doing some of the pathways. So I will keep this going here for you guys to watch and I will come back here very shortly. Now you can see I'm starting to place some of the tools. I like to go from the shortest ones on the far right to the tallest ones on the far left. So I start with the watering cans, the slingshots, and then go to the axes and the shovels and so on. So it goes up to the tallest, which is going to be your fishing rods. So I put a couple of stalls over here. I really like to use those to put items. They look very nice. So in all these stalls, um, I've actually put a custom design that's like a campsite custom design that I had found that I thought was kind of fitting here in this area. So I'm dropping um, like the stones and rock and that sort of thing on there. You can see on the small tables, I had put the different types of wood on the tables. And then just placing a couple of decorative items around, like a wooden sign, a directional sign. I end up using this pine tree just to kind of give it a nice little look and some flowers.
placing some different color flowers. On this island, I'm thinking I'm gonna try and theme it just a little bit and use like yellow and white and green, pinks and oranges. Give it kind of a tropical sort of a look. And we're just kind of straightening up the pathways, making them how I want them to be. And if you want the trees not to grow, like I've kind of done over here, you just put them super close to the edge and they won't grow. Um, or you can actually plant a fruit behind them and then the trees won't grow. So I thought that was kind of a neat little thing to try. Just gives a little dimension to it. So here I'm grabbing some different flowers. And you can see all the different colors that I got. Since this is a new island, I actually got a lot of these flowers from my other island that's pretty well developed. Then I try using this um, ball decoration. It's one of the mushroom parasols, I believe. And while it looks very nice, um, it just kind of didn't fit right there. So I extended the pathway back a little bit and then added that there, which I thought looked really nice. And then a nice little stool there. And you've got to, of course, have some music. So we've got to put like a cassette player or something here. There's some more of the fall mushroom. It's one of the mushroom lamps. I really love those. I think they look so nice. So here I'm trying some decorations that I end up not keeping. I didn't think they looked quite the best here. Then I add a birdhouse. Then some more barbed wire fencing just to make it look real nice around here and just kind of keep it all cohesive. Okay, so now it's starting to get kind of dark while I'm doing this and I wanted to see what it looked like during the daylight. So I just switched my time on my console to a little bit earlier during the day and then come back to see what it looks like. And then yeah, it definitely looks very nice. I like the way this is. The stall kind of is in the way a little bit. So instead of using two stalls, I decided to just use the one. And then I put some more of these tables over here. I think they look pretty nice. And then add a little bit more barbed wire fence. So yeah, I think this is it. This is the final DIY station. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did like content like this and a speed build, like and subscribe and I will make some more and post it. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you have a fantastic day.